Glenavon Station. It was a beautiful property. It was 40,000 acres. We ran approximately 6,000 head of Brahmin cross breeders. Well, we were 360 kilometres from Mackay and 100 kilometres from Murrumbara, and they were our two nearest towns. So we were between 15 and 20 kilometres from our nearest neighbours. We were all getting up and just about to have breakfast. A fellow who worked for our neighbours rang and said that there'd been a terrible accident on the property, that somebody had been caught in a post hole digger and had damaged their forearm. My first question was, are they alive? The answer was yes. Are they conscious? And I didn't receive another answer after that. I had no idea of what I was going to walk into, so I called the Royal Flying Doctor 24-hour service and their response was, thank God you've rung because we've had a call about this accident, but we have no idea where to go. How do we get there? It was about mid-morning, recall getting a call saying there'd been a incident on a farm in which there appeared to be a traumatic amputation. We were required to be tasked to a area which was pretty remote. Quickly managed to establish that it was going to take us a minimum of two hours from wheels up to wheels on the ground before we were going to be able to provide medical assistance. The impact of what I saw was horrific. I saw blood on the ground and then I then followed the trail of blood to the house and I found my neighbour lying on the bed in the spare room, only semi-conscious. I was absolutely shocked, physically and mentally shocked. The emotions with the injury being attached to somebody that you know and care for and respect and work with compound the impact that it has on the first responder. Her life was in my hands. I had to do everything that I could to sustain her until they got there. When I arrived at the scene, I felt as if I'd known Robin my whole life. She remained constantly part of the rescue operation. And there is no doubt in my mind that the only reason the patient was alive still was because of the care that Robin had provided. I think it's absolutely vital that everybody on rural cattle properties has their first aid certificate and that they practice it until it becomes second nature. Because if it's not second nature, when you're called to do it, you'll freeze. It's really vital that machine guards are not taken off. If they're taken off for servicing, they must be replaced. Or look for alternative machinery. Knowing the coordinates of the nearest airstrip is absolutely vital. I think a really big thing that I ask people now when I hear them talking about a near miss is, so if that wasn't a near miss and it was a catastrophe, do you have an evacuation plan? How will you tell emergency services how to get here? Where will they go? What will they use? Knowing your location is absolutely vital to a quick response from emergency services. Robin's message is very, very clear. And really, it's the same as the message that we have with Workplace Health and Safety Queensland. We want people to stop and think about their workplace, their workplace environment, put good steps in place to prevent a workplace incident, but also be so prepared that if one happens, you know how to respond and respond properly. I think before people are prepared to become prepared for the unexpected, they have to see safety as a very serious issue. Everybody can save a life and preparedness is absolutely vital.